And Molly is gonna try. I am scared. <laughs> yeah, not to have it right down. <laughs> this is hands down my favorite pizza ever. What's crazy is she's wanted to go to Arches for years, and then two days later she comes to Zion as number one. <laughs> We are in Penguich, Utah, a little bit like northeastern than Parowin. We are at Wonderless Cowgirl Coffee. It's a cute little like cabin that is just a drive through. They do have a little place where you can get out and go up to a window, but it's known for its drive through. It's just a drive by coffee shop. Um, I've always wanted to stop, and we finally have. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I'm not getting coffee, but I'm excited for you to experience it, yeah. <laughs> They have all kinds of things. It's a lot of simpler things. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna get yet, but there's a pretty good line, so I have some time. <laughs> Sadly, we didn't get any coffee there. Um, the line was taking really long, and we're already super late to get into Bryce Canyon. It's 9.30, and we have about 40 minutes to get there, and we were planning on arriving at 7 a.m., so just a tad bit behind. Um, the plan is now is to just head there and go on some hikes. So it's like 10 o'clock right now in the morning and the line isn't too bad. It was definitely worse, uh, uh, Arches, wasn't it? At 7.30. Oh yeah, it was out to, uh, if you've ever been to Arches, you know, but if you haven't, there's a stoplight after you leave Arches. And it was all the way down the road into that stoplight, which is a very long At distance. nine o'clock in the at morning. At nine o'clock, yeah. Bryce Canyon is definitely not one that, you, when you think of like national parks, this is it, I have to go here. But it's still popular. I mean, it's part of the Mighty Five here in Utah. So, you know, people really like to come here, but obviously I don't, I don't think I'd put it in like the category of Zion or Arches or things like that. So this is Bryce Canyon. We are on the sunrise our yes. sunrise point to the sunset point. It is beautiful. We just saw an overlook back there. We are actually at 8,000 and some feet right now at this like walking. So that's the highest we've been on this trip. So yeah, it's really awesome here and beautiful. And these are the first trees we've seen in days. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of weird, isn't it, Malls? Oh yeah, Parowin didn't have any trees and it was very weird. <laughs> Not weird to not have trees, but just weird to us being from a place that has trees everywhere. <laughs> All right, guys, so the reason that Bryce Canyon is so popular is because of these things it's called hoodoos. And what it is is essentially when water and wind erodes this very um, fine sandstone away, and you're left with these spires that stand out. And there you can see this is like the main feature of the park, right? They're everywhere. So, um, yeah, that's what Bryce Canyon is really well known for. And this is just beautiful views. Obviously, you get a look over the entire um, view as well. You can still see some hooters way out there. Um, so this is a really cool spot. Um, Bryce Canyon is definitely moving up the list on my favorite national parks. This is pretty cool here. Um, <laughs> I love the drop offs too, but Moles doesn't let me go any farther than this. <laughs> yeah, we're right here. <laughs> Right now we are encoding a video and making lunch. Um, we would love to eat out today and just not have to cook, but we are very strapped for money because we do this and that's why we have to do budget friendly options like cooking from the van. Otherwise we could not make this happen being college students and not making very much plus paying for our apartment. So that is what we do and it's a tip for you guys for van life. Yes, ma'am. You got that right. It is uh, very hard sometimes to think, okay, we got to cook and we got to clean and everything like that. Then we look and see, like, if we go out to eat, it's normally, like, I don't know, $20 or so. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, to save that over five times is 100 bucks. So, um, yeah, without, like, huge disposable incomes like us, it's, uh, anything helps. We also just realized we never got to reflect on our Zion, not Zion, oh gosh, Bryce Canyon National Park experience. Um, so, do you want to do that now while we're sure. waiting for some lunch? Oh, oh no, no, no. Ah. Um.
Um. Good thing I'm watching the burner, huh? This, this is, is the first time cooking with the chicken broth. She doesn't know what to do with it yet. No, I had it on high because I'm starving and yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Bryce Canyon reflection. Oh ahead. yeah, so it was beautiful. We went on the sunset sunrise mm -hmm. trail and it was awesome. Um, the hoodoos down in the little canyon was amazing. Moose was allowed to go on one trail, which was that little one, but you can go down into the canyon and actually go right up next to them. So that would be really awesome yeah, sometime to do. You can also do horse trails as well. I'm, sure, I'm surprised you didn't say anything about that. Oh yeah, I But you can do that. Uh, ride a horse. <laughs> um, that's pretty cool too. But yeah, so that's. Uh, I think it was a really awesome place. I think yeah. if we would have gotten there earlier this morning without the crowds, it would have been a lot better. But by the time we yeah. got there, it was a zoo. We literally just told you guys like two days ago, get to National Parks <laughs> early. <laughs> we got there at 10 o'clock. Yeah, and we didn't leave till noon. And by the time we left, it was just overwhelming. We did. We were going to do laundry there, and that was a no. Everything was full. We was gonna, or we did dump our um, like pee tank and our gray water tank and filled our water up. But oh my gosh, beyond that, we just wanted to get out of there. <laughs> yeah, it was a disaster. Like we've said before on the channel, we're not huge crowds people. So yeah. it's very nice to be able to get there when people aren't there, which is our plan for Zion. Yes, so hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that works out. But yeah, so I think it was a really awesome national park. Definitely yeah. get there early though. And now after lunch, we're gonna head to Belly of the Dragon, which is just a unique little hidden gem in Utah. So yeah. let's go do that soon. <laughs> We have made it to the belly of the dragon. Uh, it's just a short hike through this, I, I don't tunnel. even know what it is. Tunnel? Yeah. yeah, I don't know if it used to be a mine or something. It's just a tunnel. Either way, they just blasted their way through rock and so we get to walk through it now. And it's dog friendly, which is really nice, and free, which is even better. So we're gonna take on a little walk through there, see what it's all about. It looks pretty cool. Um, and it's kind of hard to find. If you use Apple Maps to get here, it'll take you actually to the very top on the, inter um, not the interstate, but the highway up there and like stop and I'll say you're, you have arrived, but you really haven't. You have to turn on another road to come down here. It's an old stone road. But with that being said, let's go get started. And we advise you guys to use all trails to navigate yourself here, just so that doesn't happen. <laughs> come on, Moose. All right, everybody. So we're gonna head down this tunnel. Um, I'm pretty pumped to do it. It feels really nice in here, actually. It's like 83 degrees outside. Not super hot, but when the sun is exposed as it is, it's pretty warm outside. But we're gonna head down this tunnel, enjoy a little bit of the coolness. Moose is gonna enjoy a walk. He's sniffing everybody that's been here. And Molly is gonna I try. I am scared. <laughs> yeah, not to have a breakdown. <laughs> All right, okay, are you ready? let's go. All right, let's go. Come on, Moose. Here. It's so dark. Yeah. That got pretty dark back there. It's kind of hard to see where to step, but it's awesome. Hello everybody. It has been an amazing night. Me and Molly just mm -hmm. sat outside here and watched the sunset. We have Zion National Park right over there. That's where the video started. And I uh, just took some time to just chat. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Moose is asleep behind us here. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is an amazing day. Bryce Canyon was beautiful. Awesome. Belly of the Dragon was a really cool experience. It was, we were just talking about how it was like 85 degrees yeah. outside, so pretty warm. But then once you got right, like literally the second you step in the shade, it got instantly like 60. It was yeah. like, it was just incredible. Um, being people from Indiana, like humidity is just a part of our daily lives. So like when we have dry <laughs> heat and we like get in the shade and it's so much better, yeah. it's just mind blowing. Um, but that's going to be the end of today. Tomorrow we're gonna head to Zion and hopefully get an awesome hike again. This is the only dog friendly hike in the park. Um, it's just a real quick three mile um, trail. Yeah. 
Um, so we're going to take Moose and walk around, get some epic views, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, <laughs> something from the visitors center. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but I think we will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. We are in the process of making breakfast, getting moose fed, things like that. Thought we'd show you a little bit of what a day in the life of van life is like. So, usually starts off with we wake up, I'll usually take moose out, and then Molly will take out down our window covers and things like that that we put up throughout the night. Make the bed. Yeah, get the bed around, things like that. And then when I come in, then it gets crazy. As you can see, we have a pretty small, uh, you know, a very narrow opening here, so the three of us usually have to have a little bit of choreography to do this. Um, but Moose will be up there eating. You can see him, not really because it's dark in here, but you can see Moose in there eating right now. Um, while he's making some coffee. Usually I'm grinding the beans, but uh, I gotta have it since I get to make the video. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's kind of what our mornings are like. Then after that we get around, or after we do that, we kind of lay around a little bit, relax, maybe get some work done, depending if we have anything to do. And then or we go- Or we go shop for morning hike. Yeah, which is what we're doing today. Um, today we're gonna be heading off to Zion for a hike. Um, it's gonna be pretty awesome, like we said last night. And uh, yeah, so we will see you guys there. Also, usually I'm the only one that eats breakfast besides Moose. Ty here does not, he's not a breakfast person. So I usually grab something quick, like a cereal that's healthy, or if I have some time, I'll make some toast um, or something like that. One last thing before we leave always is to put our waterproof cover on. We did it because Moose has peeked on our bed too, too many times. <laughs> so we make sure that we put that on so that way if he does throw up, it's not over our sheets or our cushions or anything like that. So that's what Molly's back there doing right now. Kind of hard to see with the darkness, but yeah, that's back there. So that's one last thing that we do before we leave. And uh, then Moose can go up on our bed and relax while we drive. Um, he usually just sleeps, so not a big deal. But if he's not feeling well, you make sure that we know. Uh, so yeah. Um, but we will see you guys as I am. So have you ever wondered how early it's too early to get to Zion? Well, we got here at six o'clock, followed six people into the park, got to the parking lot, and there was easily a hundred people here. So I don't think there's a good answer for that. <laughs> and if there is, we don't know it. So uh, if you come to Zion, get here super, super early. And it's like, what, half an hour drive in? Yeah, it's a half an hour drive just to get from like the gates to the parking lot because of all the switchbacks that they have. So definitely get here early. It's kind of a mess. We're kind of frazzled, but we're on our trail. Um, this is the only dog friendly trail in the park, so. Let's go. We recommend the Paris Trail. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but if you get here and there's still people around, um, definitely do this trail because it's not very popular. It's a very easy trail. I mean, it's two hours or so, um, but I would do this trail because all the other trails are very popular. And you got Angel's Landing, the Narrows, the Watchmen, things like that. Um, and you don't, you know, huh, you can have a dog on this trail. So if you have a dog, you can bring him on this one, right? That's what we got here early with Moosey. So we can have a two hour walk. It's gonna be a great time. But yeah, the Paris Trail is the way to go in case you don't wanna deal with any of the crowds. Leave it. 
another reason that you should get to Zion early in the morning is because it gets hot here. If you didn't know, Southern Utah is basically a desert. So when it's midsummer or so, you can expect temperatures in the hundreds plus, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, I should say. So when you get here, that's another great reason to get here early. It's nice and cool. Right now it's about 65. Like we have sweatpants, we only have a sweatshirt on. Um, but yes, come here early also because it gets really hot. Wow. Let me Thoughts? Be <laughs> Thoughts on the Paw Rouge Trail? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I thought Arches would be my favorite national park, but Zion is definitely number one, and Arches is second. It's just amazing here. What's crazy is she's wanted to go to Arches for years, and then two days later she comes to Zion and it's number one. <laughs> and we only did the, you know, the simple basic trail. I can't imagine yeah. if we did the Narrows and Angels Landing and all that stuff. Yeah. Just crazy, beautiful here. Um, it's definitely my favorite as well. It's also Utah's oldest national park, so I mean, some there too. Yeah. But just beautiful area. You have to come to Zion. Yeah. Come to Utah. Just a beautiful place. If you have a pet, if you have a disability, whatever, this Paw Roos Trail, perfect. perfect. It's about two miles. You can ride bikes, you can take wheelchairs, you can bring dogs. Any Mosey! Do you want to tell them what we're doing? Yeah. We are doing our laundry here in the Springdale area. Um, it's just literally right outside of Zion. I think we drove out like five minutes. Later. Yeah. Um, so we're doing our laundry right now. So if you've ever wondered, how do we do our laundry? This is how. So now we just go to sit around and wait. In a laundromat. <laughs> yep, in a laundromat. Um, yeah, what's crazy is honestly, besides gas, laundry is the most expensive thing we do. It's like insanity. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so we're doing the laundry right now, chilling out, enjoying the nice day, enjoying the beautiful views. It's and, hot uh, out now. It's getting pretty warm, yeah. And uh, Zion is really picking up. There's shuttle buses like crazy here in Springdale, um, and they'll take you into the park, and those are 100% full every single time by the time they get to the laundromat. So yeah, it's pretty great. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of what we're doing, just hanging out. Moose is having, I don't know, a seizure? I don't know what he's doing back <laughs> What there. are you doing? I think he's trying to get comfortable. His bedding gets washed too, so yeah. Yeah. So we waited way too long to do our laundry. So we actually had four loads to do. We washed our bedding and Moose's stuff. So that's what we're doing now. Must be nice to be a dog. He's just sitting here in supervisor station, sleeping away while we fold, put things away, and everything else. And then he has the audacity to pan whenever he wakes up. And isn't that right, Moles? I know. Oh, jeez. So our laundry is all done, thank gosh. If you guys don't know us very well, just know that we hate laundry <laughs> at home. And so in the van, we hate it even more because we have to go drive to a laundromat, spend like two hours there, and then you have to fold everything in the scorching heat. But today's laundry was really good. We actually only had three articles of clothing that were wet. One's a towel, one's a hair towel, and my underwear. <laughs> And so, three um, items out of all of that is really good. Sometimes you go to the laundromat and you have your whole thing still wet and you gotta pay like a dollar more. So yeah, pretty good today. And now I think we're gonna go find some lunch and explore. That's right. Moose? He's out, his yeah, bed's clean. He, yeah, he can't, even, he can't even try to be awake, but been pretty good experience, I'm old. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at the view from the laundromat. Yeah, look at this laundromat view, huh? Way better than Indiana, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But all right, we will see you guys soon. When we see you. <laughs> For lunch, we have Rigatti's wood-fired pizza. Um, smells delicious. We got pepperoni. It's a large. We're starving. After a long day of laundry, we deserve it. And right? our hike. <laughs> the hike wasn't as bad as a laundry. <laughs> uh. 
But either way. Oh, oh boy. That is huge. Oh. Whew, that's hot, hot, hot. Fresh out of the oven. Speaking of bites, I know this is delicious, but Moen wants another video. I don't know if there's watering. That's how good this is. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. What oh. would you rate it as, like, is it your favorite pizza? Or, like, what would you give it out of 10, I guess? I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. It is delicious. I'm My favorite pizza ever is Giordano's in Chicago. Typical of a Midwesterner, anyway. Um, but this is delicious. I love it. You I can't also love lose. It. He's <laughs> sniffing it. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is. I also love the little like. I mean, it looks like a house. Like I thought we were just pulling into somebody's house to eat, but it's actually a restaurant. Um, but this is delicious. I love this pizza. To me, the bigger the slices, the better the pizza. I don't know why, but this is delicious. I love it. Mm. I would give that like a. Like a nine or nine point five. Really? I think my favorite pizza ever. Can't think of it. Like I, I don't know. I'm saving the ten spot for something, but this is one of the best pizzas I've ever had. It's just the crust is thin, and I don't really like a thick crust. So that's perfect. But yeah, it's soft. The cheese has just such a good taste that you can tell it's fresh. And then these pepperonis are actually fire roasted in their own little container um, in the firewood grill before the pizza. So yeah, I love it so much. I've come to a, uh, what do you want to call it? Conclusion. A, yes. <laughs> After my first slice, this is hands down my favorite pizza ever. So if you're ever in the St. George area or if you're in Zion, make the 30 or 40 minute drive down here and get this pizza because it is unbelievable i could just eat this every day <laughs> delicious and i don't even like greasy pizza which is a little greasy but i don't even care it's so good <laughs> <laughs> you have anything else you want to say no i'm just gonna eat <laughs> yeah i want to eat jeez <laughs> all right malls reflection oh so good but we have another hike coming up soon in like two hours and I, it's laying heavy right now so good my favorite pizza ever delicious and again if you guys ever have a dog with you just know when you're working hard this is what they're going to be doing at least if you wear them out right in that right walls yes all right we are off to the vermilion cliffs monument now hopefully hopefully our stomachs can handle it huh? oh yeah i met a girl there in the bright side of a dream Sweet Arizona, sweet as I had ever seen. Uh, okay. You got it. Are you gonna say it? Yeah. I'll so we went into the gift shop and got a. Excuse me, I have oh the hiccups. But we got a patch, and uh, we've been only getting patches at our favorite places. So Arches is our first one. This is our second. Ty got a hack. Oh, I have hiccups bad. And then I got an eco-friendly reusable coffee mug. I've been looking for one forever so I didn't have to use those um, throwaway ones. But I finally found one there. And it even says, ugh, Zion. <laughs> Model it.